Hello, welcome to another video on H The Undoing on HBO. Um, this is my second video about it. If you haven't seen the first one, maybe I'll link it, blah, blah, blah. Um, <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Any, anything you want to say, first of all, I just want to say, leave a comment if you didn't like this video. Tell me what you didn't like. Tell me what you want me to change. I'm a, I'm a new YouTuber. I've been doing this for a whole month. <laughs> I've been doing this for a month. But... But I really enjoyed this comment that I got because it's like, it's like her giving her perspective and it's a discussion and give your perspective. If you disagree with anything I say, obviously give your perspective. I want to hear it. So this, um, person, I think I'm, I'm probably going to pronounce it wrong, but I'm going to give a little guess as to how it's pronounced. Uh, this person, Zavitz Cortesia, Corticia, I don't know, but she, uh, or they commented and said, what you call exhibition breastfeeding in public is very normal in Europe where no one is uncomfortable when a mother feeds her child. The gym locker room scene was an improvised idea from Suzanne Beyer who wanted to make a point about Elena. Clearly all about Elena's introduction and her actions have a meaning that likely will be revealed through the episodes. The rich women assume she was a scholarship but it's not confirmed blah blah blah. anyway so then I comment back and I say this because I feel like she's tr kind of getting me wrong a little bit I was like it's not just simply because she's breastfeeding it's because she took off her entire shirt like that's <laughs> and then that combined with the gym locker room scene if you've if you're watching this episode two video you've probably seen both episodes right so then I said do women do women in Europe typically take off their whole shirt to breastfeed? Also, I'm not approved about nudity, but if someone is sitting down and you're standing right in front of them naked, your naked crotch is right in that person's face, lol. I definitely feel like they were trying to make, make a point that she was a little bit too much. And then I said, is the book good? Blah, blah. And then she said, context and plot will fill the void that make the scenes awkward. And no, women in Europe don't take take off only what is needed to breastfeed. But nonetheless, it's not publicly shamed. I'd say the opposite. And I'm just like, okay, first of all, she that's that was my point. It wasn't the point that she was breastfeeding. I, I'm fine with people breastfeeding. I think, it, I don't, I have to go back. I should have went back and watched what I said. But I'm pretty sure I mentioned, like, I don't, care about people breastfeeding it's that she took off her whole shirt to breastfeed so she was clearly trying to they were clearly trying to characterize her a certain way and make a certain point and you know of course I picked up on that and here's another comment that I got offline from a friend of mine at work well a co-worker of mine who was watching the show as well and I said that you know, I was like, I think Elena's having an affair with the husband, la la la. And she's like, that's pretty, she's like, Miss Dylan, because that's her last name. She's like, Miss Dylan, that seems a little heteronormative to me. You know, she did kiss Grace on the mouth. Like, how do you know that she's having an affair with the husband and not with Grace? I was like, okay, that's a good point. Um, maybe she had the affair and we just haven't uncovered that yet. But that was a conversation that happened before season I mean episode two came out so after you see episode two you know that that's not the case <laughs> you know that that's not the case um but I want to just give my overall overall impression right now of the show because I've been reading some reviews <laughs> there was a review that literally said the show was just barely watchable <laughs> there's another there's so many reviews that say this review said that it's a it's a it's a cliffhanger filled ode to rich white people and I'm like dang is that what we're saying but I thought I like this I like the show do I love the show no I love Nicole Kidman <laughs> I love her performances in a lot of different mo movies and shows so it's easy for me to watch Nicole I want to watch her um it's kind of cliche the show is very cliche and once we get into the spoiler section of this video, we'll talk about the cliches. It's very cliche. And I said that last week. I was like, I hope that they subvert a lot of these cliches and subvert expectations because I hope that I didn't just guess the whole plot watching the first <laughs> episode. <laughs> There's seven episodes and I'm just like, oh, 
you need to start subverting now. You need to start throwing some interesting twists. Where's the twist? You said there was a twist. That's not a twist. We thought certain things were going to happen and then certain things happened. Anyway, but even though it was cliche, I was still looking forward to it. It's... <laughs> It's pretty. It's a pretty good little thriller. And like I said, there are certain genres. If it's your favorite genre, you like excuse a lot of things. Like you excuse the cliche ness of it. Like if people really love Marvel, they excuse that you know the cliches of a superhero movie because they so enjoy superhero movies. And everyone has that genre. A lot. In fact, a lot of people. It's the Marvel comic book genre is their favorite but mine is like thrillers and then some people it's like horror movies but like mine is like psychological thrillers I love it I love I'm like I was looking forward to this week's episode because last week I watched it like on Monday morning but yesterday I'm like I have to just watch it it's so good I'm really into it I really want to see it so anyway another thing that okay this is one thing I was like is this foreshadowing because she has these clients that are adulterous. And I'm like, is that foreshadowing? And it's clearly foreshadowing. Um, and then I was like, these are just things that I was thinking as I was watching. Is, is the husband a red herring? I hope he is. If, if it ends up being the husband, I'm going to be like, oh, how boring. How boring. And then another thing that I was thinking about was uh, um, Nicole's maxi dress. So I put on a maxi dress today. I'm not playing it like Nicole because Nicole has that kind of long, lean, tall, slim figure that just like looks so good in a maxi dress. I mean, anyone can wear anything they want, but she just looks, they always put her in maxi dresses. And I said her, her style in the show is very gorgeous. And some of the maxi dresses were similar to Big Little Lies. They put her in a lot of like long flowing maxi dresses. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, hold on. I, now we're getting to spoilers. We're seven minutes in. This is probably going to be like halfway through. Um, if you don't want a spoiler, you have to get out. You have to get out because this is now just going to turn into a spoiler discussion. <laughs> I already told you my impression. I'm enjoying it even though it's cliche. Okay, moving on to spoilers. Now, so we find out Jonathan and his, and his trifling ass, he got fired because... <laughs> He had three disciplinary actions and was charged with inappropriate contact with uh, the relative of a patient. Turns out to be, you know who, Elena. And this is what I was saying, like, please, please, let, what is this twist going to be? And then here's the next thing. The twist has to be a big twist, especially when you use the phrase widespread disaster. But I read, see, now I might read We'll talk about, I should, I want to talk about a little bit about the book, but I'm like, I'm not going to read the book. And they're making different changes from the book, so whatever. So she, he had inappropriate contact with Elena. Um, it gets to the point, he says that he was innocent. So first, first of all, he tells, he hires Lily Rabe as the lawyer. And he tells Lily Rabe, I'm innocent. She's crazy. I didn't do it. And then she, he tells the wife, I did do it. But then she started acting crazy and being obsessed. And I'm like, crazy, crazy. Is that what we're going to say? She seemed a little bit much. And this is what I'm saying. Like, she was saying, she was really out here pulling off her shirt. Like, yeah, your man, I had all this up on your man. And and Nicole was like, okay, I'm I'm a confident, beautiful, successful woman. I I'm totally fine with you pulling your tits out right now. It's a little unorthodox, but, you know, do you? <laughs> she's like, do I unnerve you? And she's like, <laughs> like, her reaction is just like, <laughs> you're making me a little uncomfortable. I'm not unnerved, but, like, it seems like you desire to make me uncomfortable. Please stop. Um, then in the beginning of the episode, she was kind of, like, protecting him from the police, which, and everyone, Lily Ray was like, you need to just distance distance yourself from him, F him, get rid of him. The sooner you distance yourself, the better everyone is going to treat you. And I'm like, oh my gosh, it's so mean. But I'm like, I want to protect him. You can't just disappear. Like, you can't just disappear and run away. You have to tell me something. Like, if this is what I was thinking. If you get into this situation, if I have a spouse and he gets into the situation, you need to tell me something. You can't just run away. 
I'm not going to like do like her and just like automatically start trying to go into protection mode. No, 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 sir. No, sir. You need to put me on the team. You need to explain to me how you're innocent. And if you're not innocent, I'm going to do just like she did at the end. Okay. Where she said, oh, my husband is here and he's an accused murderer. And I'm so scared. Please help me. Ah! <laughs> Girl, she went into full Karen mode. Help! Someone hurry! Come! Yes! Go off, Nicole. I love it. I'm like, I want to protect you! I don't... It looks... It looks so bad. Like, it can't... I know it can't possibly be the husband, like, plot-wise, or else there wouldn't be a twist. It would just be him. Um... Then the next thing that pissed me off was the dean told her not to come pick her son up from school. And I was like, excuse me, dean, uh, where in the rule book does it say that? It is not inappropriate for me to be on the school grounds. Do you know how much we pay for this motherfucking school? How dare you? How dare you tell me not to come to the school? You're rude. I would have been like, and I'm going to be here every morning and every afternoon. So bump up your security. <laughs> Anyway, next question is, do we believe Jonathan? I feel like we have to believe Jonathan. This is why we have to believe Jonathan. He has to be innocent because then the show wouldn't be interesting. <laughs> he has to be innocent or else there would be no plot twist. It would just be like us finding out that he's not innocent. But <laughs> us finding out that the per the number one person that we all suspect did it. Then, you know... <laughs> So, yes, Jonathan has to be innocent. But, like, let's put ourselves in the situation. Would you believe him when he says he's innocent? No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Like I said, I would have called the police. And especially since you ran away and didn't talk to me first. No way. No, sir. No, sir. Um, And then the baby. Now, I should have seen the baby thing coming because she, the baby is a baby, right? And he's having an affair with her over the course of the last several months. So I'm just like, mm, but... My, if, here's the thing about the baby. The baby, I don't know how old the baby is, but, like, for him to be the father of the baby, they would have had to be having an affair for, like, a year. For, like, a year, dude. I can't. I can't. And then I literally have this written down. Didn't I say that, though? <laughs> well, like, in certain parts of the plot where it's coming out where, like, he's having an affair, then he ran away, la, la, la. I'm just like, I literally wrote down, didn't I say that? Didn't I say that? Didn't I say that that was the case? Like, it's too obvious. Like, we're, oh gosh. It, it's, it's almost a guarantee. And this is what I put under theories. It's almost a guarantee that they have to subvert the trope that the husband did it. It's a guarantee that he didn't do it. It's, here's the thing about it. They've made it so cliche that the only way it could be a twist is he didn't do it. So either it's going to be cliche that he did do it or it's going to be it's going to be predictable that he didn't do it because we already know that there's going to be a twist. <laughs> we already know there's going to be a twist. I literally said, what did I say? <laughs> My theory, what did I say? Oh, and, and, and with her son going to the school, I said that last week. Go watch it. I said that. I said that he's paying for her son to go to the school and everyone just assumed she was a scholarship mom. I literally said the shit. Okay, and then <laughs> he said, he said, said, girl, now this is the biggest spoiler. This is what made her call the police on his ass. This part right here, when he was like, I had sex with her, but I didn't kill her that night. She's like, you had sex with her and then you got back in bed with me and we made love. I was like, girl, <laughs> girl, that's why she called the police right there. That's the point where she's like, oh, hell no. Oh, no, I'm calling the police. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Hello, officer. Take his ass away. <laughs> I can't believe he did that, though. And, like, this is how stupid he is. So now he's saying that, oh, we I didn't kill her, but we just had sex, blah, blah, blah. So now what's going to happen is his DNA is all over the crime scene, especially if they were meeting in the studio to bang in the first place. His, his DNA is all over the crime scene. So, you know, <laughs> and then it's like the question, was Elena really crazy? I feel like Elena... 
she said she wanted to be included. She literally said that in the first episode. I just want to be included so badly. And she was probably just looking at Grace and looking at her husband and just looking at like, why is she married and wealthy and all this stuff? And then I'm the side piece and I'm the sideline hoe. Like, why, why am I being put into this role? Why has fate brought us here? You know, like, and she's probably resentful and sad and ashamed and embarrassed and angry and all these things mixed in and, and vengeful and confused yet vulnerable. All these things mixed together. Yeah. So that's it. That's my whole thoughts. <laughs> Other than I told you so, I don't really have that much else to say. <laughs> Bye.